everybody. So today we're talking about loving your stepchild. <clears throat> I mean, learning how to love your stepchild, man, you know, it takes a lot of work, takes a lot of patience, and it takes a lot of trust as well in between you and your stepchild. You know, being a step parent is just not easy, as you probably saw in the last video. And if you didn't see that video, we'll link it here above. Um, you know, for me, I played a ton of different approaches, tried to figure out a ton of different things, and I'm still figuring those things out and still learning. I mean, I'm always adjusting, always trying to figure new things out or just figure out new, new ways that'll work. I mean, initially, I started with the a friend approach, right? I'm gonna be your friend and, you know, see how that goes, blah, blah, blah. And then next thing you know, we're looking for apartments together and I'm like, well, that ain't gonna work. Now I gotta be an authority figure there too. So, okay, because <clears throat> as a friend, you know, I'd show up and blah, blah, blah. We have this fun time. The worst I know for the wife was when she had her like, she had Natalie all like settled down and then I came over and I was like, hey, party time. Yeah wasn't that great for her, but I was a friend to her and we had fun and then I left and bam, but now we're moving in together and I gotta change it up. So I did and man, you know, it's like I said, it's just something that you're continuously working on. So my goal 100% in the way I love Natalie was if you saw us out and about, you would think that that's my biological daughter because of my mannerism, because of how I spoke to her, because of how we interacted, you would never know like, oh, wow, so you can tell that's your stepchild. I, I never wanted that. Um, and I do my best to make sure I don't call her my stepchild. Now, and I think I've done a pretty good job of showing that, of showing, hey, this is my daughter, 100%, because I knew I needed to do that. I, and I knew when I looked at her, I needed to see my daughter. Um, I've read some articles that say, oh, you know, you don't need to love your stepchild. And I'm like, what the f What? No. How? Like, I can't, I can't even imagine my wife being like, oh, yeah, it's okay you don't love my kid. Like, what the, what, what? Anyways, now, if I'm being honest, it was hard for me to see myself in my daughter it was very tough you know it, I mean it was just extremely difficult now in the last few years I have seen her replicate my mannerisms and my speech for example I am a huge proponent of saying like that's the business or this is the business and just this year Natalie was like describing one of her friends after I had picked her up from dance and she was like daddy she is the business I'm like oh had a grin ear to ear it was the it was the business anyways seeing those mannerisms seeing that speech seeing how she kind of interacts with friends and me being able to see that and relate to that that's where I see that love and it's great another way I knew I could love her is in her interest which probably sounds very obvious but let me tell you that is a lot easier said then done. And Natalie's interest is dance. She's been doing it since she was two. And let me just tell you that it's probably within the last two to three years that I've really come on board. You know, I could tell you that it was hard or, you know, it, it was this or that or blah, blah, blah. But, but if I'm honest, the truth of the matter is it wasn't a sport I could relate to. So I was checked out, gone. It wasn't soccer, wasn't t-ball or, you know, softball. I. I was done outside of, hey, how'd dance go? Okay, great. You know, there wasn't much of a conversation. <clears throat> so it was just a crap attitude on my end. But she was just putting in so much work in dance that I was like, you know what? This ain't going nowhere. So she started dancing, she was two. And so she's been doing it for, you know, seven years. She took a little time off, but for the most part, seven years. She's nine now and she's been just going hard. And it was about three years ago, she made like this competition team and man, the amount of work she put in that year, I was like, whoa, just blown away. And her game just stepped up and I was, I was blown away and I loved it. And I was all in then. Just this past year, we went to Santa Clara. Again, blown away, just blown away also by the competition. These kids are just putting in so much work. And now this thing of dance, which I couldn't relate to in the beginning. I, when I was told dance, I was like, you mean the Jabberwockies? 
If you don't know who the Jabberwockies are, you're already on YouTube. Search for them after you watch this video. But that's what I related to dance. And so now to see her growth and to see her love, you know, I am, I was all in. I invested. I listened. I learned. And I taught myself to speak the dance lingo. Now, I don't know what the best still. I'm still learning. But I'm all in. Now, if you're a step parent and you're trying to figure out how to love your stepchild, it doesn't happen overnight. There's no like, hey, this is what you do and boom, you know, sunshine and daisies. No, it takes time, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of patience, but it's doable and you can do it. One thing you do have to remember is, you know, you're not the biological parent, so it's going to take time and it's going to take work, especially on your end, but put in that work, put in that time, give the patience that you need to give and hopefully you start seeing some results. And I can tell you, it's not easy, but it is worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.